I'd like to talk about line spectra, both continuous and line spectra. First off, a video. This is one of our funnest demonstrations to show atomic spectra. I'm going to show the spectrum of a, uh, an, an incandescent bulb, which is continuous. And then I'm going to show the spectra of four different elements, mercury, nitrogen, neon, and especially hydrogen. Hydrogen will be important in the labs and in many other applications. So to show a spectrum, what we use is, is called a diffraction grating. This looks like a piece of clear plastic, but it's not. It is uh, actually a piece of clear plastic on which an image has been inscribed with dark line, clear line, dark line, clear line with about 10 to 13,000 lines per inch. So it's called a grating, uh, just like a street grate. It has lines through it. And this allows you to resolve the spectrum of, um, of a source of light in the same way that a prism will resolve a spectrum. So what we're going to do is to place this uh, diffraction grating in front of a camera and show you the view of this continuous um, source with the diffraction grating in place. And what you'll see uh, in the image is, is the, uh, the image of the, of the incandescent bulb itself. And then to the right and to the left, you'll see uh, a rainbow spectrum that shows which, what wavelengths are present in this. And you'll see, um, as you look on the right side, uh, violet through all the colors of the spectrum all the way through red. So that's a continuous spectrum. We'll try next to, um, to create, to look at a, a discrete spectrum of mercury. Now what this is, is a, it's a discharge tube. It has mercury in it. And what I'll do is um, energize this tube, uh, uh, apply a voltage to the tube, and that causes the, the gas in it to emit spectral lines according to the spectrum of the, of the element that we're using, in this case, mercury. So I'm going to locate this, this proper spot, turn off the continuous spectrum. So this is a mercury spectrum uh, without the diffraction grating. Let me get it in focus here. It's a bluish colored uh, spectrum. There are um, mercury vapor lights that are used as um, street lights. So this may look similar to you, this bluish tint to the mercury vapor. Now let's try it with the diffraction grating in place. And what you see in this case are uh, a green line and a blue line predominantly in this mercury spectrum. Uh, next, we will try a nitrogen spectrum. I'm using this fur to prevent burning flesh. So this is nitrogen spectrum. And with the diffraction grating in place, we see a number of lines present, some red, orange, yellow, green, and a, a violet uh, turquoise-ish colored line. That's nitrogen. Two more. This is neon. It has a beautiful orange look to it. And when the diffraction grating is in place, you see a large number of red and orange lines. This is exactly um, what's used for neon lights. The original neon light was made out of neon like this. There, there are other gases that are used to, to, to form um, 
signs, but, but neon was really where it, uh, where it started off. It has a beautiful, bright, uh, reddish-orange spectrum. So, so this is hydrogen. It has a, a reddish cast to it. And uh, when the diffraction grating is, is in place, you'll see three lines. Uh, the farthest from the central image is a, a red line. That's the hydrogen alpha line. And it is um, very important in star images. Uh, a lot of uh, nebula in the, in the sky have hydrogen alpha line as one of their prominent um, spectral lines. Then there's a turquoise colored line, greenish blue. Uh, is the hydrogen beta line, uh, both from the Balmer series, and we'll talk about those, uh, or have talked about those in class. And then finally, the hydrogen gamma line is a um, violet line, is generally considered to be the, the one that's, th those three lines are visible in the, in the hydrogen spectrum. Those lines are associated with transitions of the electron uh, in the hydrogen atom from a higher state to a lower state. In this case, the second energy level is the final state, and then higher uh, energy levels. It starts from a higher level and goes down to the second energy level to get the Balmer spectrum. That is um, continuous and emission spectrum. Okay, the, hopefully we convinced you that uh, you can separate just like you can with the prism. You can use a diffraction grating, as we talked about in previous chapters, to separate light into its component colors. If uh, it's white light, then, then it has all the colors represented in the spectrum. Whereas, uh, for example, for hydrogen, it's called a, a line spectrum because only specific wavelengths are present in the spectrum. And in the case of hydrogen, those three lines are red and aqua, or sometimes described as blue-green color, uh, other times described as turquoise. And then, uh, so this is the red line, it's called the hydrogen alpha, as we mentioned in the video. The, blue slash, or aqua slash blue green slash turquoise line is called the high, um, hydrogen beta line. And then the gamma line, sometimes described as blue, it certainly looks blue in this video, um, or violet. So I'm just asking you to uh, commit these three uh, words to memory in the, um, and, and the identities of these three lines, and we'll talk more about them, uh, well in fact, one of the goals of this chapter is to talk about the atomic origins for these lines. Where do they come from? In the lab, uh, this beta line is called blue-green in color and violet for the gamma line. Uh, 